So apparently, I guess, like, when life gets hard, flee to Italy, as my parents would, like, do. So a week ago, my parents were like, we're going to Italy. And I go, no way! Oh my god, fun! She goes, no. Just me and your father. And I go, okay. Alright. That was like a weird delivery of the sentence. Like, why didn't you just say that me and your father are going to Italy? Like, why'd you have to word it like that? But, you know, that's just me. So, yeah, they are gone. They left yesterday. I dropped them off at the airport. So now I'm just um, here in my house with Penny. And for two weeks. While they are living lavish in Italy. And I'm just here. Taking on the full responsibility of a house? Okay, like give me some goddamn warning. But I guess it's pretty lit because my mother practically stocked my entire kitchen full of food and smoked salmon for me to eat. So you know what? I'm not complaining, this is dope. What? Oh! Don't eat! I literally just gave you food! I don't know what this new like trend is on TikTok right now where people are posting like photo stories with like that song in the background like and like you can like swipe or it auto plays their beautiful relationship story Okay, like you're happy like you don't need to like share your happiness with everyone because like it can make people sad and people is me because even like it's not even just the gay ones like i'll see a straight couple being happy and i'm like okay like cool good for you but then again i'll do nothing to help the situation so uh it's kind of my own fault you know so the nice part about my parents being gone and me being like abandoned i guess is that i get to use my mom's car because my goddamn car the speakers are blown out already um, which is probably my fault because I play my music on like 18,000 times bass. You can't blame me, okay? But other than that, I'm literally alone. So now I gotta make my own fun, which I've been doing honestly all summer. So I guess it's not really that different. So I've been like completely so depressed lately. I just haven't been doing anything. I updated my resume and I'm all ready to apply to jobs, but I like literally can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know why I'm just not ready <laughs> to work <laughs> rest of my life. La, la, la. Okay. Um, so anyway, I'm sick of talking about my future and how like scared I am of it. So let's just like, let's do like fun things. So I'm going to be doing something really, really stupid that I shouldn't do, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I don't want to go in person. And that is cut my hair it's just the um completely overgrown and i don't feel like spending money who am i to get a haircut so i'm gonna do it myself during quarantine my father purchased the this and we were we would literally cut each other's hair in quarantine so like it shouldn't be that hard right like and i got the little attachments so that's like 12 millimeter nine millimeter 16 okay so i'll start with this one and we'll try to do it and hopefully i don't completely botch myself because that will be really really bad so it's september and that means fuckers are going absolutely ape shit for pumpkin shit and listen i enjoy pumpkin i think it's a great flavor i love the smell but some of these bitches, like, whoa, it's like, they're like, yes, yes, pumpkin. I'm like, babe, relax. But I did go to Starbucks yesterday after I dropped my parents off and got a pumpkin cold brew. And it was delicious. Like, it was so yum. Okay. My first one of the C, Zen. If I spill this all over my mom's car, she's going to kill me. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like, duh, like, we already know. I feel like the target audience for pumpkin is, like, millennial mothers. And I see it firsthand. They're, like, fucking ex- They're, like, it's back. It's back. I'm, like, you- No, what? Let me stop being a hater. So, I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works today and get some fucking fall candles. Are you kidding? And is there's $10 off three wick candles today. Oh my god, my life is so good. And then maybe I'll go to Barnes and Noble and get some books. I can't stop reading. I literally am obsessed with reading. I just, I'm like in the middle of It Ends With Us again. I love that book. I, I cannot get enough of it. I don't know what's up with me. But yeah, so that's on the agenda and we'll figure it out. 
<laughs> okay, I have a mirror here. So I don't, I like to keep the top longer so I can like push it back and I actually don't know what my hair is. I don't even have a style, I kind of just wake up. Um, so I think I'm gonna maybe stop it here. I wish I had a clip, that'd be so much easier. All right, you know what, we're gonna wing it. I finally made it. I'm a dumbass and put in um, Bed Bath & Beyond instead. So I went all the way to like a different town to Bed Bath & Beyond. I went, wait, this isn't it. I wish I just had like an, like just like a little bit more like um, IQ because it's just like annoying, like, come on. I literally have not made a big purchase since my Boston trip and since those Balenciaga earrings. Ah! Oh my God. There's a mosquito in here. Wait, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> I don't even want to know what that looked like. So the problem with this is now I can't see the back of my head. <gasps> I have my watch. Thank God. Okay, let's see. Can I see it through this? Oh my God, I can. Okay, I'm literally going to do it through my watch. I don't know. The way I'm doing this right now, okay. The middle of my head is mad long, so let me. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. Okay, this is really bad. Ew. Ugh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, did the damn thing. I got three candles. Don't fucking look at me. This one isn't pumpkin or seasonal. This is just the candle I have to get for my um, mentality and mental health. The eucalyptus mint, just like, mm, something about it is just like, oh, hell, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, Oh, I can't sometimes. Next one, pumpkin clove. This was the only pumpkin candle I can find that wasn't like pumpkin scent, like punching me in the face. Mmm, it's still a little sweet, sweeter than I would like, but it's better. No, this is Can I stop? Oh my god. And then the last one I got, mahogany apple. Apple scents? Oh! Oh! It's like crisp, it's like sharp, it's like stabby. Like So that's dope, got my candles, so fun. Now let's go get a book. Like, let's go get a fucking book, a novel, a novella, a biography, an autobiography, like a magazine, any written media. Like, let's go and let's go do it. I can't go to Barnes and Noble. I literally can't. Aren't the like, candles gonna like melt boots? I didn't think about this. Oh, well. Yeah, so it's not going to be even at all. Like, literally at all. But that's okay. Like, I am accepting the situation. Okay, so now I'm going to do... Fuck. I'm going to do my sideburns. Okay. And now I go in with a scissor. They didn't have the books I wanted. I'm looking for this book called um, Top Secret and Him by the same author. I forgot her name. Sir, sir, uh, Serena Bowen, question mark? I think that's right. It's like two o'clock. I don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> okay, maybe I should get a job. I hate, I get up so early now because I go to sleep so early because I'm so bored. So then I just go to sleep early. So I go to bed at like literally 10 o'clock. So I wake up at like seven. That's a fucking lie. I wake up at like nine or 10. So I'm getting like 12 hours of sleep like every fucking night. But I wake up so early now. So I have so much of the day and I'm not used to that because usually I wake up at like two. Well, like last summer and during quarantine, I was waking up at like four. <laughs> Guys, quarantine was like an awful time in my life. I literally was going to bed at like 6 a.m. Waking up at 4 p.m. And I did a complete 180. I'm going to bed at 10 p.m. And waking up at like nine so um maybe i'll go <laughs> i don't know the way i'm doing this without looking at the back of my head is just like absolutely fucked and do not follow this like do not do this because this is not the way to do it the thing with me though my hair grows back literally in a week like not even so i'll have to cut it again and like Oh, a week. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. 
Ow, fuck that hurt. Ow, why did that hurt? Okay, so let me look at the back of my head in this mirror. Okay. It's really not that bad. Wait, like. Okay, the, the, all the hair there is gross, but. I'm, yeah. Doesn't look that bad right now, but the shower afterwards is always the big reveal. So just wait. I like this, but I also hate this. I love that the new iPhones are gonna be announced soon. So I will have something to look forward to because I will be buying it. I don't know what it is. Just like the excitement of like pre-ordering something and like waiting in line to get it. I, it's one of my favorite things and I don't know why. I did it with this phone. I did it with play, the PlayStation. I literally waited in line from 7 a.m. to like 10. Like when Mad Happy had a pop up in New York City, there's a line for that. Like I love waiting in line. If you've ever seen that episode of Solar Opposites on Hulu where Terry just waits in line and that's like a competition, like I would do that. Like I would just wait in line. Like the excitement of it, it's so fun. Are you kidding? I hate nothing. Like it makes me want to tear my face off. Like literally like, when people say Beyonce is overrated. Close your fucking mouth. Like you sound stupid, dumb, you sound ignorant, and you just sound like someone who's just uneducated. When people say Beyonce is overrated, I just have to assume that you have absolutely no idea like what Beyonce does. Beyonce is literally a celebrity to celebrities. Do you guys understand that? Like people, like Kim Kardashian looks at Beyonce and goes, oh my God, Beyonce? Beyonce, self-titled. Surprise drop, which changed the industry. And it was like, what, 16 videos, 17 videos, something crazy? Lemonade, an hour long movie attached to it, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't even know that exists, which pisses me off because it's so good. The artistry that goes into her projects, the storytelling of her albums, how literally every single detail is thought out. Overrated. You literally know nothing I can't say that, that's a threat. Just use your imagination. I love that I'm finally out of my extreme depressive episode that I was in, cause it was like really bad, I was kind of scared. And I'm starting therapy on Monday, so that's good. I hate that my parents just decided to go to Italy. All right. Like I would have went, like, yes, I would have, I would have gone to Italy. Like I, I, yes, yeah, yeah, I would have went to Italy. Yeah, thank you. No, didn't go. So sad. Manja, manja. Pecorino Romano. It, it's actually annoying because I want to go to places like so bad. Like I talked about wanting to go to Tokyo in my last video, but the plane ride, it holds me back. Like I have an absolute fear of flying. Something just makes me so uneasy about literally being in the air and nothing is supporting you. And you're just like. <laughs> so like I've, I've been to Italy. And I had to take like sleeping pills. So I would not like be conscious because like I can't. Eight hours on a plane, no fucking way. And don't go in the comments and be like, I took a 16 hour flight. I don't, I don't care. I'm talking about me. Like an eight hour, eight hours. That's like the, almost the entire face of a clock. Uh, just sitting there like. The only way, I know this sounds so pretentious, but the only way I would be able to do like longer than What's the California, like six hours? A longer than six hour flight, I need to be in business or first class. Like I need to be in luxe conditions so I can just like ease my mind and like go to sleep maybe. All right. I have no idea what I was just talking about. I have literally no idea what I was talking about. It just completely left my mind. I need a CAT scan. I act. I need a CAT scan. I need an MRI. Do you hear her? She's literally chomping down. Like, relax, girl. I got it, Pen. I got it. Yes. Good job. You got it all by yourself? No, no, good job. Good job. Yay. Oh, yay. Yay. You're doing so good, Pen. You're doing so well, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay, come on. Yay! Drain you up! Can you get that smell? Oh, there we go. There we go. No, not yet. You smell so good! You smell so fresh! Be slow, Penny! 
You have wet feet. Be slow. Be slow. She's literally so Okay. She's insane. Okay. I don't know how the back looks. Like, I just don't know. But it doesn't look that bad. Obviously, it's not the best because I'm not a professional. But when you don't want to spend money and you don't want to talk to anyone, let me just do it myself, you know? Right? Like, why not? That could have been literally disastrous but it wasn't so maybe i should be a i should go to beauty school fuck my degree in marketing fuck all that tuition money i'm going back to school and i'm going to be a hair person hair person hair stylist hair stop hair okay mm. oh my god oh it smells so good okay i'm gonna cut the wick of course this is out in life. I have never seen a candle take so fucking long to light, dude. Ow, fuck! Oh my God, ow. Oh my God, that took years. So now it should smell like beautiful pumpkin. Um, I know this video kind of sucks, but um, sorry about it.